Natalia, this is Jorge and tonight we will be covering some of this week's stories that were considered too trivial to be in the 6 o'clock news. In the island of Mytilini, six newborn puppies were found dumped in the trash. Oh, what is this last week's news? Oh. Uh, they were taken in by the local charity while their mother's owner still believes neutering and spaying to be unnatural and cruel. In Crete, an 80-year-old boy who had strangled a cat while his 20-year-old friend was taking pictures and uploading them on Facebook was to be tried this week. The trial was postponed for December 2017. Both defendants claimed that in the photos they were actually trying to pet the cat. Hey honey, can you take a photo of me petting our dog? <laughs> In Ramnuda, in Attica, six puppies were found alone somewhere in the middle of nowhere without access to any food or water while their mother was lying dead nearby. I'm sure she died of like natural causes. The woman who found the family is asking for help from anyone willing to foster or adopt the orphaned puppies. In a village in Karditsa, a stray mother dog had the audacity to be hungry and steal a neighbor's chicken. Her punishment was death by poisoning. She left three 15-day-old puppies behind. Apollo, I told you you'd regret it if you ever stole food again! In Eritrea, in the island of Evia, the residents are on a mass poisoning spree. I'm sure they're cleaning up the area for the upcoming touristic season. The bodies of dead or moribund stray dogs decorate the seashore, the beach and the boardwalk, while the authorities and the local police are just done um, watching. <laughs> In the beautiful touristic island of Zante, exotic beaches and all, seven of the stray dogs that were living peacefully near the bus station were poisoned, tortured and killed. One of them had his legs tied up together and was burned alive. Given the fact that the island is inhabited only by deaf and blind people, nobody saw or heard anything. <laughs> The local charity has put together a petition asking that the mayor of the island investigates oops, oops, sorry, uh, investigates the murders. You can find the link below and sign. You, you never know. You never know. In a village in Karditsa, again, in front of the local church on Holy Spirit Day, it's one of the biggest holidays for the Orthodox Christians. A six kilo dog was rescued by the local charity. Apparently the dog was just dying there for days since by the time she was found, she was already being eaten alive by flies and worms. Her x-ray showed that she had a broken neck. I wonder how that happened. She was named Jelly and died a day after her rescue. The church is once again clean and ready to welcome the kind hearted religious people of the village. In Athens, an injured dog was lying paralyzed on the side of a busy avenue for 48 hours. He was rescued by volunteers and was taken to a vet clinic where the x-ray revealed that he had been shot. Maybe he was trying to chase some chickens too. In Athens again, a stray dog that had been taken to the animal welfare company of Cor... I'm sorry, company? What the hell? Um, um... Uh, a month ago, uh, was left there to rot on a construction pallet without food while the volunteer, I'm sorry, uh, it's a company, while the employees uh, were, were sprinkling him with, what I can't even say, it, were sprinkling him with water to chase away the flies that were eating him alive. He was removed from there and is now receiving proper care by, you know, not by employees of a company. And a female Doberman in similar condition was rescued by Save a Greek Stray. The dog suffered from anything a dog can suffer from. Despite the charity's efforts to save her, months of neglect eventually killed her a week after her rescue. Hey, maybe there is a company out there like actually preparing the dogs for the rescue, you know, like neglecting them on purpose and stuff. Hmm. Speaking about companies, neglect, corruption and money, in the public concentration camp, I'm sorry, what's wrong with me today, in public shelter in Volos, about a hundred prisoners, I'm sorry, oh my god, dogs are dying of neglect without the proper veterinary care. The shelter's manager had actually been convicted for the conditions in the shelter, but guess what, he still works there, yay. Huh? <laughs> 
Taking a break from reality, our favorite R post for this week is Watson. He was found poisoned on the streets of Napoleon, but made a full recovery and is now looking for a forever home. Look at him. Okay, back to reality. In the train station in Tricala, a severely injured puppy tried to seek shelter in the booking office. The animal welfare of the area was called and the vet's examination revealed that the wounds were actually chemical burns caused by a unknown chemical substance. The puppy has lost one ear and is blinded from one eye, but the vets are optimistic that he will make a full recovery. The possibility that a serial killer's career has just started is not taken into consideration by the local authorities. I mean, why should it, right? <laughs> the puppies were just for training, you know. Now I'll move on to children and I can make headlines. <laughs> in Peania, in Attica, someone's dog gave birth again. The puppies are abandoned there in that, what is this place, uh, I don't know, uh, for people to pass by and ignore them. Remember, neutering and spaying is unnatural, so what can you do, right? <laughs> in a village in Argos, a female dog was found crawling and screaming from the pain. She suffered from multiple fractures, fever, low hematocrit and erlichia. The residents admitted that they could hear the dog screaming for an entire day, but they just didn't know where the screams were coming from. <laughs> The dog was operated and will probably make a full recovery. In Arta, a feeder for the strays that was placed in a square by the municipality was converted to a garbage bin by the residents. <laughs> this is so creative. I mean, normally, you know, you recycle, you convert trash into something else. Like, converting something else to trash is like, wow. Okay. And last but not least, in a village in Rio, near Patra, a trained hawk that was taken to a particular spot by its trainer and his family and released, was shot and killed by a resident once it flew away. Once the perpetrator realized that he almost shot the family that was standing nearby, he retrieved the body and locked himself in his house in order to avoid arrest. Thank you for watching. You can find the original or additional links of every story in the description box below. From Jorge and I, have a good night.